Time now for our weekly Lake Erie Speedway segment. I'm pleased to have in studio Matt Mead, driver of the Bandolero Series. And Matt, thanks for joining us this evening on this holiday. And how's your season going so far in 2014? Well, overall, it's gone pretty good. There's still some things that could be improved on. Um, I haven't made it to victory lane yet, but I'm still working on it. And I'm confident that I can get there this season. What are some things that you've noticed that you want to work on to get better? Uh, just, just improving the lap times a bit, a little better line, mm -hmm. um, avoiding mistakes. And if I do that, I think it will all work out. Last weekend, you traveled south for some racing as well. Tell us about it. Yeah, I traveled to Land Motor Speedway. I've been racing the Summer Shootout Series at Charlotte Motor Speedway this summer. And uh, it's gone pretty well, um, trying to improve each week. Um, nationals on uh, June 28th went pretty well. Finished sixth. I was going for a top five. Just missed it. Really wanted that. Hey, Charles, hey, it's still not too bad either. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I really want a top five trophy, but overall, a pretty good experience. What was that experience like? How do you take something like that away and continue on as you continue your racing career? Well, I uh, improved as a driver a lot this season, and I'm looking forward to how I can improve in the years to come possibly moving up the division next year or the year after that. We know when it comes to racing, it gets awfully competitive out there, but do you seek advice from other drivers, especially when you were down at Nationals? Yes, I do. There's uh, lots of people who have moved up divisions and raced the uh, cars I've raced, and they give me a lot of advice, and uh, it helps a lot driving, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm thankful for that. <laughs> now, why did you get involved with racing, especially this particular yes. series? Um, it, it's a lot of fun. Um, a lot of nice people I've met along the way, a lot of, a lot of fun. Um, tried a lot of other sports, but I really liked racing the most. And your parents are very instrumental in this, and how important is that for you to have them with you at your side? Oh, I'm very thankful for them. Uh, my sister has supported me a lot too, and I'm thankful for that too. Um, lots of money involved, so a lot of time, so I'm thankful for that. Are they very encouraging too, just even those moments where you maybe you missed out, as you mentioned, that top five, but are they there to give you that extra boost? Yeah, they give me a lot of support and a lot of advice, and um, I'm grateful for that. Now, another great night of racing will be taking place this weekend out at Lake Erie Speedway, and getting back onto the track, what are some things that you want to do in order to get to the victory lane for that first time this year? Um, I just try to remain calm the whole time, not get too stressed out. Just have fun with it. Don't take it too seriously. Just have a good time. And the attendance has been great, especially going back to last year. How do you handle those emotions when you get into the car and you're getting close to race time? Well, it's a lot of fun. Um, just focus on having fun. Um, try to try drive my race. Um, not worry about anybody else. And Matt, from here on out, what are your goals, expectations over the next few weeks as the season continues to wind up? Um, I hope to get a few wins this season um, down at Lake Erie. I hope to get better down at Charlotte and possibly Atlanta. Maybe go for a top five at Charlotte and a few more wins at Lake Erie. That would be great. Sounds like a good idea and a good plan as well. Matt Mead, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for Happy holidays to you on this 4th of July. And, of course, Thank we're you. back with more after this.